Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Between now and December 16th, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing where 13 winners will each win one of the Flipside Gaming Masterpiece Collection playmats. See the description below for more details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. It is Ultimate Masters release day as of the time of recording, and we are going to look at the current top 20 highest value cards within the set. Quickly before we start this journey, though, just a fast reminder, if you check out the description below, you'll find a few ways to support the channel. Our Patreon page is down there. You're also going to find links to products on Amazon. If you make any purchases, once you go through that first Amazon link, no matter what it is, we'll get a small percentage for the channel. Finally, Flipside Gaming still offering a promo code for our viewers. Hopefully you can save some cash while you support us. And as always, thank you not only to the folks that look at those links, but to each and every one of you. Y'all make the channel what it is. But let's get into it. Okay, before we get into our top 20, a couple things you need to know about the prices we're going to look at today. First off, the prices are average based on the pre-orders that were occurring this past week and weeks prior. Now, actual packs are being cracked today as we speak. So inventory is going into the market, which means that some of these prices will soften up very quickly. As a matter of fact, by the time you watch this video, some of these prices may have shifted down. Also, this is the weekend where sellers will start getting nervous as they start seeing prices go down. They don't want to get stuck with inventory. They may start to undercut each other a little bit. Shop around is what I'm saying. In other words, the prices you see here today are good indicators of where we're at roughly, but you will be able to find better deals on most of these cards if you go online and check out a few different marketplaces or go to your LGS. Many times you'll find better deals there than you'll find online. The main purpose of this video today is really to get everybody on the same page. So if you go to your game store this weekend, maybe you're playing a draft, maybe you buy a few packs, I don't want you pulled into a bad trade or a bad deal after the draft is over. This is really a calibration video to give you an idea of what things are worth. And a lot of the cards that we don't talk about today are actually worth a fair amount too. So if you are making any trades this weekend, just stay really close to the market. Number 20, Phyrexian Tower at $17.32. Awesome mana accelerant here. And that's the link between a lot of the cards we're going to see today. They are either big mana payoffs or big mana accelerants in many, many cases. This is just the first. This also got some sweet new art, and much like a card we'll look at in just a moment, this is from Urza Saga and is being reprinted for the first time. Additionally, this is the first time you can find this in foil, and those foils are currently listed for around $60. Number 19 is the first of these real big payoffs, and it's Ulamog the Infinite Gyre at $18. This sees a little bit of modern play, but it's an awesome casual card, and you will be seeing the other two Eldrazi Titans on this list as well. Number 18, Back to Basics at $18.53, another great rare here. This is an awesome legacy card, sometimes out of the sideboard, but many times it's in main decks because non-basic lands are just that powerful in the format. Also, this has some new Therese Nielsen art, and this is the first time the card has been reprinted since its original printing in Urza Saga. This is the first time you can find the card in foil. These foils have stabilized over the last 24 to 48 hours. They were listing for about $200. Now they're around $90. Number 17, Demonic Tutor. Classic magic card, originally from Alpha Beta Unlimited. Great vintage card. This one also got some new art. $21.20 for this rare. Number 16, Kozilek Butcher of Truth at 2123, the second Eldrazi Titan on the list. This sees a little modern play, a little bit of legacy play, but for the most part, another really strong casual card here. Number 15, Temporal Manipulation comes in at $21.25. This is from Portal Second Age, and it did get a Judge promo reprinting, but that was it. So another opportunity to grab this card. This is the art from the Judge promo. Great commander card if you're looking for another way to take an extra turn for five. Number 14, Celestial Colonnade at $21.49. Key card in a lot of the modern control builds out there. Number 13, Ever Cool the Young's Torn at $21.99, the third of the Eldrazi Titans. And this one's banned in Commander. However, when it comes to competitive play, this one sees the most play. You'll find this in Vintage, Legacy, Modern decks. Just because if you're going to cheat something big into play, there's not a whole lot of better options out there in the world of Magic. Number 12, Ancient Tomb, another rare mana accelerant here at $22.29. Great card for Vintage, Legacy, Commander, Cube, Casual Play. It's just awesome. And it got some new art. Big Legacy combo card here coming in at number 11, Dark Depths at $23.46. Awesome new art on that too. 
Let's start our top 10 with another Mana Accelerant. This one's a Mythic, though. At $26.47, it's Mana Vault. Another card that's really awesome in Vintage, Commander. It's a great cube card for pushing out the big colorless spells that you want to put in there. This art was previously used on Magic Online, but this is the first time you can find it on paper. Number 9, Bitter Blossom, $26.50. This one's kind of interesting because it sees more play nowadays in Legacy than even Modern, although it still sees Modern play. It isn't Mythic again in this set. It does have some new art, though. Number 8, Krakus, $27.66. Another card that is banned in Commander, but this does see Legacy and Vintage play. Great cube card, too, if you want to keep Legendary Creature Strategies in check. Number 6, here's a competitive card for you. Engineered Explosives, $28. It has been losing value recently, but it's still an awesome card. You'll find this sometimes in sideboards of Legacy, a lot of modern sideboards, and Ironworks Combo will run this in the main deck. Another high value rare here at number 6, Noble Hierarch at $42.23. Another awesome mana accelerant. This sees play in vintage survival decks, many Legacy builds, a whole bunch of important modern decks, and you know them. Humans, Bant Spirits, in fact, just to name a few of them. This is the most valuable card in the set right now at rare. The next five are all Mythics. Number five, huge card with Snapcaster Mage, $45.66. Again, he's playing multiple formats. And this is a Mythic again, much like it was in Modern Masters 2017. They also kept the same art. Number four, same story here. Cavern of Souls, same art from Modern Masters 2017. Also, same rarity of Mythic Rare, $47.72. This is an awesome tribal card, no matter what format you play. If you're playing tribal, you're going to be interested in this card. Tarmogoy for $51.90. It got some new art this time around. And this card is actually a little stronger recently than it has been in modern, thanks to Golgari Midrange and Jun doing a little bit better. Now, a lot of that is because of Assassin's Trophy really pushing those color combinations. Tarmogoy is definitely one to keep an eye on. If you can get this card cheap, maybe around $40, $45 within the coming weeks, I think that will be a great pickup. Number two, it's a Tron card, Karn Liberated at $58.40. This card and the next card are doing the best at holding their value, and they will still come down, and you can still find them cheaper than these prices, I have no doubt, but they are a little more stable than the other cards we looked at today. Here's the other one at number one, Liliana of the Vale, $66.06. Another card that you'll find in Golgari Midrange, as well as Jun, but so many other places too. All right, with that being said, I hope everyone's on the same page now, and you know what to expect this weekend when you crack your packs if you try to make some trades or some deals. And I don't want anyone getting ripped off, so I want to make sure everyone just gets this information and we get it out there to as many people as possible. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of changes, not only today, tomorrow, Sunday, but in the weeks to come. If you're waiting to buy a card, just stay really close to the market, kind of watch the trends. The best time to buy cards will be probably two, three to four weeks from now. It just depends on the card, its rarity, and how much play it sees. But we're going to keep you updated with more videos like this in the future. So. Until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.